You know that the Titan, a small area sub that went to see the Titanic wreckage with five passengers, including the founder of Titan, a billionaire, a Guinness World Record holder, a father and his son, has already disappeared to the bottom of the Atlantic Ocean. Before talking about this strange incident, let's talk about this small sub. Carbon fiber and titanium metal are used as materials for this pressure vessel. Its dimensions are 670 cm x 280 cm x 250 cm, featuring 22 feet x 9.2 feet x 8.3 feet high, and its weight is 10,432 kg or pounds, 23,000 pounds. The maximum depth it can travel is considered to be 4,000 meters or 13,123 feet. If we take the maximum payload and capacity that can be carried, the payload is 685 kilograms pounds, 1,510 pounds, and the capacity is 5 people, 1 pilot plus 4 crew. If the life support is taken, it also includes the oxygen supply required for a period of 96 hours for 5 people raised here. But above 13,000 feet this may change under the environmental conditions of the swamp. Four Interspace 1002 electric thrusters are used as the propulsion system here if we talk about the integrated technology of this sub. It includes subsea imaging 4K Rafin camera, Teledyne 2D sonar, lumens of external light 40,000, 2G robotics laser scanner, INS, USBL and real-time hull health monitoring system. There is something special about this real-time hull health monitoring system. Atama is the pressure at the depth of 4,000 meters or 13,123 feet, where the wreckage of the Titanic is buried. At this depth, the pressure is more than 400 like atmosphere's pressure. The pressure at this depth is 6,000 psi or 413.685 bars. This is like having 35 full-grown elephants on your shoulders. The damage that can be done to the hull of this sub at a pressure as big as this is very high. This is to monitor the damage that can be done at a pressure as big as 6,000 psi. Sub can be stopped from submerging. Okay, I think the people have got something in their head about sub. Now let's get to our main tea. 2. Fishing net entanglement The production of fishing nets used in the fishing industry can be seen at the bottom of the sea. If a small sub like this is built and gets caught in a fishing net like this, it is difficult to come back. Even in 2005, the propellers of a small-scale Russian sub got caught in a fishing net and got stuck on the seabed because of the propulsion system. Later, after removing the net by a British underwater drone, he recovered this small-sized sub. But this sub was stuck at a height of about 13,000 feet. Even in this kind of activity, the fever is hard work. To prepare for such a thing, you must first find the location of this sub. But even if it finds its location using sonar 2076, the best sonar available in the world, this sub must go to sea by itself. Because there is something like this, transferring the crew to another sub with pressure is not as important as you think. 3. Hull failure Although the pressure is constantly monitored by the real-time hull health monitoring system, some people suspect that the pressure in the 13,000 feet hull broke the wall of the hull killing the crew and sinking the sub to the seabed. But this opinion is somehow rejected by us. The reason for that is that a Canadian P-3 aircraft had detected some underwater noise. According to them, this is considered to be a noise made by the sub's crew. Now someone may think that how can a flying plane pick up the sound of the sea in the dark? Two similar methods are used for this work. One, passive identification. Two, Active determination for now this the few information that we have I will bring more mysterious side of this tomorrow until then have a nice day.